Hello everybody, welcome to a follow-up episode of Art Whisper 88. Now this is a piece that I did in a previous video. Uh, you can check it out. I'll put the link in the description box below. Uh, this was a mono print that I did with my silicone mat. And this was uh, number three of a series of three. And as you can see, there are a lot of blank spaces where the paint did not transfer. Uh, not that it's a bad thing. It does provide a lot of very beautiful texture. But um, knowing myself, I cannot leave well enough alone. I want to add some, some more color to fill up some of these blank spaces. So I have here some cadmium red light by Soho and some transparent yellow medium. So I will start with some transparent yellow and I will be using my um, color shaper. I have a small, medium and large. Now this is the medium size. Now I like to keep these soaked in a tub of water so the paint doesn't skin over. I'm going to start with I like this transparent color. It does make a huge difference. So it adds color without sacrificing texture because it's uh, transparent. Okay, that's it for the transparent yellow. And then now I will add something stronger. This is cadmium red light. I'm going to do a vertical stripe. Okay, I think that adds a little more substance.
then I cut out a black circle with some black tissue paper. Now this is part of my vocabulary. I've been using this um, you would call them symbols or shapes. I've been using this for many years and I like to use black circles in my work. circle challenge to do this because it's delicate. It's very easy to tear this. So I'm doing it in two parts. This is uh, Mod Podge. Okay, I think that does it. That completes the image. I feel that it has a little more substance. Okay, so I will air dry this and then maybe work on the next one. I think this will benefit from some yellow.
okay. I like this much better. It has a secondary layer of colors. It gives it a little more substance. So, let me see if I can work on the third one. I think this just needs some black and white. Okay, I think that does it. I'm going to air dry all three of these and then recap. Okay, everybody, it's been a while under the desk fan. And here is the final product. Here is a closer look. And you can see I added the graphic elements like the collage.
So that is piece number one. Here's the second piece. I do think the addition of color makes such a difference. And I do like this transparent yellow. So that is piece number two, and here's the last piece. I really added more elements here because I found it lacking. So this is the collage of black tissue paper. There's a couple of circles that I added. Here's a close-up. And I think it makes a much bolder statement by adding these graphic elements and very strong colors. These are primary colors. Okay. Well, let me show you how I sign my piece. So I start on the left hand side. I put in the title and this would be a monoprint collage. And then the middle is the number. In this case it's one over one because this is a unique image. And then finally on the rightmost side, I put my name. And the date. So I hope you like this uh, fill in the blanks video. I found it very satisfying to finish up. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Please check out artwhisper88.com where the pieces are up for sale and the proceeds help to keep this channel going. Thank you again, and I hope to see you next time.